Hello, my YouTube friend. We're going to go through a lot of pops today. I have a lot of boxes to open, but first I'm going to show you some pops and stuff I bought at Target. All right, let's get right into this. Okay, I got this really cool Luke Skywalker. I absolutely love this series where it looks like an old drawing from the 70s. And $8.99 is the retail price. Amazing. I won't be surprised if these have value in the long term. Really love that one. I got the Killmonger What If Pop. This one is super cool. I love that he's holding the little Ultron helmet. Uh, I kind of feel like someone might have traded it in, but I wasn't sure if I had it or not. So I decided to grab it. Again, $8.99. Great price. And I grabbed two because my friend Sean, if he doesn't have it, he'll definitely want it. So I got that for him. Awesome. I got the Agit and Pharaoh from BakuCon. It was on sale for $5.99. The box is a little bit beat up, but for $6, I thought that was an awesome clearance price. And I think this pop looks really cool. And I always tell people the stuff that goes on clearance that doesn't sell very well right away tends to be the stuff that goes up in value. So I have a feeling this set's going to have some value in the future just because people who grew up with that, they're starting to get old enough that they're going to start getting nostalgia for this very soon. Very cool. If they have not already. I got this Fortnite party pack again, Target exclusive. I love Fortnite. I play with my family and I just, I love getting the exclusives. They remind me of the old school GI Joe figures I loved growing up. So I had to get that set. Also got this awesome Christmas set. I think he got that last season, maybe two seasons ago. I'm not sure. But again, a Target exclusive. Had to have that. I would like to collect all the Fortnite minifigures eventually. Probably the larger legend size ones as well. Very cool set. Also got the Fortnite Whiplash car with X-Lord. I love the Whiplash in the game. It's such a fun car to drive around in. Uh, we played with it a ton during the Marvel season. So love this car had to have that they also had the revive bus but i'm going to get that on a different day or i'm going to have it delivered because that wasn't exclusive although i don't think this one's exclusive either either way super cool vehicle to play with i don't know how many of you guys know but i love animated plush figures and dolls that come out during halloween so i always pick up a few each year and i found this awesome one at target let's check it out <laughs> Just had a pretty promising box of Bronze Age comic books just dropped off at my shop. First appearance of Power Man. Oh yeah, I'm super excited. This is very promising looking. Cannot wait to go through this box. I'm going to go through this box on Pop Comics and I'll post that video in a few days. I picked up a couple of t-shirts. This Bob's Burger one. I think this one's amazing. I picked up this super fun My Hero Academia t-shirt. Love that one. That one is cool. And I got this super fun My Hero Academia Hello Kitty mashup t-shirt. I think this one is super fun, love it. And the cool thing is all these shirts were $12.99 each, so really good price. Also just had a fun batch of old trading cards traded in. I love this kind of stuff because it sells so well in the shop. So all of that's gonna be in the shop for sale as packs. All right, I have this box from Target we're gonna open up. I think it was two or three pops I just bought for retail because retail's $8.99 and they were exclusives and I decided I want them. All right, let's go through this box. All right, let's see what's inside. All right, I think it looks like boxes in a box. All right, that's good. Let me open these up and show you what's in each one of them. All right, let's get in here. Oh, yes. Okay, so this is one of the ones I missed out during the second drop that I really wanted. I grew up with Generation 1 Transformers, so we have the original Shockwave. That is cool. So happy to get that. Awesome. All right, box number two inside. Oh, it's the Team USA Michael Jordan. That is really neat. Love Michael Jordan. You know, such a great all-time player. Very amazing pop. Super happy to get that for nine bucks. All right, I got another box from Target open up. It feels light as well, so it's probably another like two or three pops. Let's dig into this box. You know what happened? I probably bought the Shockwave and decided to add a few more to get the free shipping. All right, let's dig through the box. It looks like there's boxes in the box again. That means they probably shipped okay with no damage, which is great. I love when they double box. All right, let's go through them. First box of the two. What's in here? Let's see. Oh, yeah, the cool um, Dorn from Star Trek. Oh, that is super awesome. Yeah, that for $8.99, I had to have that pop. Super cool. All right. Let's dig through the next box. Uh, oh, oh yeah, 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 okay. For a second there, I thought I bought a duplicate, but no, I got the C-3PO in this cool art style. Absolutely love that pop, so cool. 
Awesome. So I have the Luke Skywalker. I have him. I think there's two more. I think there's a Stormtrooper and a Darth Vader. I gotta get those other ones. All right. Super thrilled to have that pop. Awesome. Funimation had a sale that was 50% off their pops. I couldn't help myself. I bought every pop that I needed on their website that I didn't have. All right, let's dig through this box. This one gets packed well. Okay, some of these are not in protectors. Uh, oh, one's in an actual, you know, protector. All right, let's see what we got though. We have the really cool SSKL SS Califla 2020 Funimation exclusive. Uh, this one was, ooh, $7, I think. Maybe $10. I forget what the retail was on that. I think all the individual pops were $7 each, which is awesome. Okay, we have the Tuxedo Sam Todoroki from My Hero Academia. Absolutely love that one. Really wanted that one. As you can see, it matches the shirt I just bought, which is awesome. Okay, from One Piece, we have the Crocodile. Uh, I might have just got that one after I ordered them. So that one might be a duplicate. Uh, this one's an actual protector, which is cool. I haven't seen that from a retail store before. So we have the Shigur with Dog 2021 exclusive. Love Fruits Basket. I, uh, you know, I really wanted that one. I haven't had any traded in. I've kind of been waiting. So I'm so thrilled to get that one. And what do we have? Ooh, we have the Flocked Karen 2021 exclusive. Sweet. All these for like $7 each feels like such a great deal. Especially for anime stuff. Okay, we have Hercule from Dragon Ball Super. Just the common, but I didn't have it, so happy to get him. I basically just looked at my pop price guide and saw all the ones I didn't have. And then we have the Super Saiyan Kale. Very awesome box from Funimation. I think I have another one, so let's go find it. Box number two from Funimation. Uh, this one has paper on top. Uh, ooh, it looks like it has some cool stuff in there. All right, let's dig in. Oh, wait. Oh, there's some 10-inch pops in here, too. Awesome. All right, we have the Silver Chrome Goku and Flying Nimbus. That one's pretty neat. I like getting the Funimation exclusives for 7 bucks. We have the Android 16. I didn't have that one yet. Super cool. We have the Purple Chrome Barris. That one's kind of neat. I kind of like that color purple. Very cool pop. We have the Bulma. That one's fun. I didn't have that one yet. I like the details on our dress and our little sneakers. She is fun. Very cool pop. Love that one. Okay, and then we have two 10-inch pops in here, which I'm going to have to pull out and then show you. <laughs> These are pretty amazing. We have the 10-inch Glow in the Dark Shenron from Dragon Ball Z. The 2020 Funimation exclusive. I think these are like 20 bucks each. So I'm so thrilled to add that to my collection because I haven't seen that one yet. And then we have the Glow in the Dark 10-inch All Might. 2021 Funimation exclusive. Also, I think $20. I think it was $39.99 is normal price and they were selling them for 50% off. These things are amazing. I absolutely love them. And I ordered enough to get free shipping. So they're $20. I think there was tax, but free shipping. Amazing. I have a pretty large package here from my patron, Sherla. She's trading this in for some other stuff. So uh, let's dig into it and see what's inside. All right, let's dig into this box. It looks, oh, okay. It looks like everything's in sorters inside with lots of protection. Awesome job. All right, let's go through these. These are all a mystery. I have no idea what's in any of them. Uh, oh, okay. I love this line. I do have this one, so it'll be for sale. Yeah, we have Tula from the Around the World line. The ones that come with the little button. Okay, that one is awesome. Love that one. Fox number two. We got... Uh, oh, this is fun. We have a remix Alien and Dot. Uh, I actually don't think I have that one. Okay, sweet. That one's going into the collection. Box number three. We have, oh, we have, e was that Igor? Igor, Igor the Elf. Uh, this one's not worth too much, but I think it's a really neat pop. Uh, I'm going to ask my patron, Andrew. He actually might like that. He likes the Christmas stuff. Okay, very cool. All right, box four. Uh, oh, another Christmas one. This is from the 12 Days of Christmas three years ago, I think. Four years ago, I forget. <laughs> Feels like forever ago, but we have Jingles. Love that one. Very fine pop. Okay, box five. I can always use orders for shipping, so this is great. Oh, okay, we have some more plastic. plastic. Uh, what colorway is this one? I think I have this one. I'm going to double check. Let's see. Uh, oh, the greenish blue one. I think I have that one. I'm going to double check my patron, Alex. He might want that one. Okay, very neat. Right, box six. Actually, I think Shirla said that all of these are spastic plastic or that kind of stuff. So this is actually fun. Oh, this is neat. 
I don't remember if I have the blue Findu Chomp or not. This is really cool. So we have the blue Findu Chomp, but with the con sticker. So I have to double check mine if I have the shared or con sticker, or I actually might only have a con sticker. That is neat. I'm going to double check that one. Sweet. All right, box seven. Let's see what we got. Okay, we have the toucan from the 2020 San Diego Comic Con. So that one I do have. It's the white suit one. I need the red suit one, but that one's expensive. Box eight. So we got. We have the Frank von Wiener. He is super fun. That one I do have already. All right, box number nine. Ooh, we have the Dory mashup. I don't know if I have this one yet. I think I'm missing about half the set, so I'm actually really happy to get that. Awesome. Thank you, Shola. Box 10. Uh, oh, we have the Polly Pigeon. This is... Oh, a con sticker one. Pretty sure I have that one, but I'll go double check because the con sticker one's a little bit harder to get. It does have a little bit of box damage, but I think almost all of them are like that. All right, box 10. Let's see what's in here. Oh, okay. We have the Pulpo limited to a thousand pieces. Wow, that's cool. I forget if I actually have that one. If I don't have it though, I mean, if I do have it though, I think my patron Alex will want that one because that one's kind of rare. That one is awesome. And if I don't have it, thrilled to have it. All right, I believe this is box 12. Uh, ooh, okay, another Polly Pigeon. I have to double check because I don't know if I have all of them with the con sticker. And I missed out on the new one. I'm kind of upset about that. Uh, okay, that's really cool. We have the con sticker, so I'm gonna double check if I need that one or not. Box number 13. Uh, Psycho Santa, love this one. Pretty sure that one will go to my patron, Andrew, because I think he'd really want that one. Or Alex, I don't know. Maybe people will fight over that one. <laughs> that one's awesome. Oh, and I forgot, that one's limited to 3,000 pieces, so that's kind of cool, actually. Uh, oh, okay, and then we have the other one from this set. Okay, so we have the yellow Psycho Santa, also 3,000 pieces. That is super awesome. Okay, these are really fun pops. Stuff I don't see as often. Let's see what we got. Uh, oh, with the Big Al, but this is the cheap common one. I still really like it. Not really worth too much. He's like a six, eight dollar pop. Underappreciated, undervalued. I think he's really neat. And then the final box is another Findu Chomp. Which one is this? Is this the common one? Uh, oh, the orange one. I think the orange one's a little bit harder to get as well. Okay, very sweet. Thank you, Sherla. I think there's one or two I needed, and I'm sure I have a couple patrons that will love most of the rest. All right, let's see what else I can find to open up. I enjoyed that last video with the hot cash purchases. I love getting a discounted pop, but what I don't love is when I order more stuff and they ship it in a bag. I feel like two have sorters, but I think one pop is in a bag with nothing. So let's open this up and see if we're okay. Okay, cut open this side. So we're in one sorter box. Okay, happy to see at least a sorter box. Uh, yeah, there's one in here without a sorter. Ah, uh, got beat up. So yeah, Brittany, I'll probably end up selling her for the five or six dollars I paid for her. Just because I don't want her beat up like that. Mm, what a shame. Maybe I should complain and get a replacement. And... Sorter box. All right, let's go through the two in sorter boxes. This one is... Janet from Parks and Rec. She's in our morning outfit. I think she looks kind of cool. I don't know if the netting over her face looks good, though, because it's like a clear piece of plastic. I feel like they could have done that with just with, like, a thin plastic or something. Still cool pop. Happy to get it. And one more. So such a shame they package it that way. Oh, this one's cool though. We have the Fruity Pebbles box. All right, love that one. I love buying pops for like five or six bucks. That is awesome. All right, let me find another box. All right, single box from Target. I actually already took this one out of the bigger box because I needed that box to put something in. I think a customer bought something. I used the box and I took this out. So let's dig through this box, see what's inside. Okay, let's see what's inside. Again, I probably bought this for like $8.99 just because I was buying the one FunCon pop. Like in the bag. Right, let's get that out. Oh, Jerry Seinfeld in the sports jersey. Oh, that's cool. I don't have that one yet, and I love Seinfeld. I do want to finish the set off. Oh, my God. 
Look at that. Brand new in the box, but crushed to death. Okay, that one I am going to try to get a refund on. Bleh, that one is terrible. All right, next box. All right, I got another large hot cash haul box. Let's dig through this box, see what's inside. Okay, we've got paper on top. That's good. And a bunch of boxes inside. All right, I think these are going to be okay. Unless they were damaged before they packed them. All right, let's dig in. Okay, we got this really cool My Hero Academia Q Basket Bakugo. I love Q Basket figures. I love collecting them. And I also love My Hero Academia. So getting one for half price, I think it was like 13, decided to get them. Awesome. First order box. Let's dig through here. And, uh, oh, okay. We got one of the BTS members. I think I was able to order the whole set except for one. So we have Jin. Um, BTS is all right. They're not my favorite band, but I enjoy them enough. That's kind of cool to get the pops. But as figures, I think they're super cool. And I think these are the kind of things that will become kind of collectible in the future. So why not grab them for $6 when you can? Okay, box number two. Yeah, more BTS. So we have Suga. Suga? Not sure how you say it. Very cool. Fun looking pops though. I like how they're just wearing like normal clothing. Very fun. And I like the way they painted the jeans. It kind of looks like a jean texture. Okay, box number three. We have, oh, from Duran Duran, we have Roger Taylor. That is actually really cool. Yeah, that's really cool. I'll put that right there next to my Duran Duran record section. Okay, very cool. Now, let's see. Another box. I forget the number. I guess box four. Uh, oh, sweet. From Blade Runner, we have uh, Rachel. She looks really cool. Very awesome pop. Actually, really happy to get that one. That's the thing with Hot Cash. I absolutely love catching up on some of the newer pops that I didn't buy yet and getting them for like $6 a piece. I feel like I'm getting a good deal on them because it's very unlikely for me to get them cheaper than that. Even if someone trades in, I might pay a dollar less, but $6 is even below wholesale cost. So that's awesome. I love filling in the collection. All right, let's look at more. Right, box five. Oh, more BTS. This is fun. So we have V. He's in the cool green suit. Awesome. Love it. All right, box six. Uh, oh, <laughs> okay. So I ordered more of these just to get to the free shipping. So I paid $2.50 each. I'm kind of hoarding away Miss Marvel Pops because I think once she shows up in the MCU, these are going to have a lot of value. Every time I need like $5, $10 to get to the coupon total, I throw one of those in. Box seven. Oh, okay, we have the other member from Duran Duran. We have Nick Rhodes. All right, that's really neat. Happy to get those. I love getting old school 80s music pops. I love that stuff because that's the stuff I kind of grew up on. So that is neat. Next, we have the really cute Mulan Kuposki from Ralph Breaks the Internet. I love the Kuposki figures. I think they're adorable. Just really nice prize figures from Japan. I got them for like 13 bucks is a great price. I kind of wish I bought more during Hot Cash, but I'm happy just grabbing a couple that I really wanted. Sweet. Box eight. Oh, <laughs> yep. I probably needed about $10 to hit my coupon total. So yeah, I grabbed a couple of her. I'm just stuck No one's buying her, so I don't mind. I love the character, so I don't mind if I get stuck with her. It's okay, because I love the character. But if the show's really good, I think people are going to really want these. If you want to grab a few to stock up on, I kind of recommend it, because these are pretty cool. All right, box nine. Uh, oh, we have another BTS member. This is cool. I kind of like the Pop Rocks line. So I like getting all the different rock members or different musicians. So we have RM from BTS. He looks really cool. I like the glasses. Love the outfit. Really well done pops this set. Really like those. All right, box 10. Let's see what's inside. Uh, oh, okay. I don't know this at all. It looks like a Dungeons and Dragons thing. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if it's a show, a blog. It's just called Critical Role. You guys can tell me about it, but I absolutely love the pops. He's on like some kind of cloud hand that's purple. He looks so cool. I really want the rest of the set. I think he's the first one I got, so I need the rest of those. Especially the Kayla, she looks cute. All right, I need all those. Those are amazing. So happy to get that finally. I've been kind of wanting this set for like almost a year now. So, so happy to finally get one for a great price. I need to track down the rest. Box 11, let's see what we got. Oh, this one is neat. This one I don't think was in stock when I first ordered. So 
we got the blue beetle in the day of the dead look that one is really cool so happy to get that all right box 12 we have here let's see what we got oh we got the trick-or-treat sam i think this was the hot topic exclusive let me just double check yeah it's exclusive again that one for like six bucks is awesome he's such a cool looking halloween pop love that one all right awesome all right, box 13. This says it's a uh, BTS member, so I'm thinking it's the same exact one. I mean, or from the same set. Yeah, he looks cool, though. We have J-Hope from BTS. He looks fantastic. The glasses look really cool. His pants look cool. Very awesome pop. Love that one. Final box from this box, box 14. And we have one more BTS member. We have Jimin. So yeah, he looks cool too. This whole set looks awesome. I think I'm just missing one now. Yeah, I'm just missing one member. Who am I? Is it Jungkook? I think that's who I'm missing. I'm probably saying the name wrong. <laughs> Forgive me. I just think these are really awesome figures. All right. That was fun. On to the next box. I finally got my Toy Tokyo Funcon bundle. Let's open this up and check it out. All right, let's see what's in here. Okay, everything was in sorter, so that's perfect. All right, let's dig through here. All right, box one, we have, ooh, Roboto, that is cool. Love the Moto Pops, those are some of my favorites. Very cool, happy to get that. We have, ooh, Whiplash, all right. Getting the classic Masters of the Universe Pops. Very awesome, super happy to get that. I do really like the blue and red sticker too. Right, box three. Ooh, we have a soda. Okay, we have web store. So I'm gonna open that up to see if I get the chase. I was lucky last video. I'm hoping I'm lucky again this time. All right, let's see what we got. Pull that out. Ooh, I think we got the chase. Sweet. One in 800, that one is limited. Oh, wow. Okay, let's open that up. Okay, you tell me, is that the chase or is that the common? <laughs> what is the, I thought the chase was metallic. I think I got the common with the chase pog. That's a kind of a bummer. Uh, I don't know if it was supposed to, it was just the wrong pog or it's the wrong figure. All right, let's see, this is box number four. Oh, this one's neat. Okay, we have the Tokidoki Caramello. Very cool pop. Really happy to get that one. Love that one. Okay, and then finally, number five in the bundle. Oh, the other Tokidoki one. Love that. All right, so we have the Rainbow Sandy. She is really nice. Love that one. I think I have to get the rest of that set. All right, so I'm happy with that. Okay, another giant hot cash box from Hot Topic. Let's open it up. Open her up. Let's see what we got. Okay, everything's in sorters. I'm actually really happy with that. <laughs> After a few other bummers in this video, I'm happy to see those. All right, let's go through these. Okay, box one. We have, oh, the Hershey Kisses. Oh, I like this one. That's a really fun pop. Happy to get that one. All right, awesome. I don't know what line that one's from because it doesn't say anything. It doesn't say add icons or anything. Interesting. All right, box number two. This is... Oh, from uh, Starship Troopers. Cool. Love Starship Troopers. We have Ace Levy. That's a really cool pop. All right, happy you get that. I do really enjoy opening these packages from different stores because it's stuff I actually picked out and really wanted. So this is a lot of fun for me. All right, let's open up some more. All right, box number three. We have uh, Alice in Wonderland. The one where she's curtsying. That one is fun. All right, really happy to get that. All right, box number four. A lot of these have paper in them and they're boxes. Nice job. Uh, okay, we had the Dragonoid from Bakugan. I think these didn't sell very well, so I have a feeling this is a set that will have value within a year or so. That's what always happens. The stuff that's kind of cool, that's nostalgic, that doesn't catch on right away, they'll vault that, they won't reprint it, it's going on sale, and uh, 
before you know it they'll tell you you can't have it and then people want to pay like 30 bucks for it all right box number five the, oh dilver this one's fun i like when they do old comic strip ones they still need to do ziggy funko you need to do ziggy but dilver is really cool happy to see that i mean i would love to see like far side calvin and Hobbes, any of the classic comic strips but of course you guys know i love ziggy they need to make ziggy pops all right box number six uh oh okay we have from the umbrella academy we have luther i don't have this one yet very awesome this does have that manufacturer flaw that some pops have with the line down the back I don't know if it's just how the machine closes it. Getting that more often lately, but that's okay. I guess that's acceptable since it's a common flaw. All right, box number seven. Oh, this one I just thought was a really neat pop. I don't know if I really like the character that much in the new Space Jam movie. Not really that cool of a character. But as a pop, he's translucent blue. I love that. His basketball's on fire. That's a neat, neat, neat looking pop. Really happy to get that. That might be one of my favorites of the year, actually. Oh yeah, he also has a dynamic base. That is cool. This is perfect pop. And I think they drew him and they didn't 3D render him. Whereas this looks like 3D render. That looks like, uh, no, maybe it's 3D render. If they had drawn it, it would have been even better. All right. Uh, oh, this is fun. The Pringles can. <laughs> These food packaging pops, they're starting to grow on me. I really like that one. Very cool. All right, box number nine. It's one of those taped up ones, so I gotta kind of dump it out a little bit. What do we got? Oh, from Happy Days, we have Joni. Oh, she's cute. I love her little freckles. I love when pops have freckles on them. I wanna see more freckled pops. I think that's adorable. The paint job's a little bit sloppy, but still, nice pop. All right, happy adder to my collection. It's box number 10. We got, ooh, Clamp Champ from Masters of the Universe. Cool. I really like in the Masters of the Universe ones. Okay, really happy to get that one. Awesome. Pop number 11. Uh, oh, okay, we have another Space Jam one. I thought she looked pretty cool too. We have the White Mamba, so she's a snake woman. She looks pretty cool. Not as cool as the wet fire one but she still looked cool mm, didn't really like the movie so much i did like all the background characters it's kind of fun to play with there's waldo kind of but the pops are really cool so i think i need to collect the rest of the set my box 12. oh yeah more products we got the world coca-cola can love this one yeah that's a fun pop i really like that one awesome happy to get that all right, box 13. This must have been uh, 90 off of 180 or something. There's a lot of pops in here. Oh, okay. I think it's another Bakugan. Yeah. So we have the Skyrus Bakugan pop. That one looks amazing. I love that one. I think these ones are going to be pops of value in the future because I think they're really cool. And right now, kind of like under demanded or underappreciated. Okay, very cool. And then sort of number 14. Let's see what we got. Uh, okay, we had the Gene Razak. Can't say it, but another Starship Troopers pop. Love that. Very cool pop. Love Starship Troopers. Happy that. It. Okay, that was super cool. I actually paid about $5 a pop on these because I had $20 in like extra bonus discount or whatever on top of the hot cash from the previous purchase. So it was 50% off of like $180 order and then another $20 off. Awesome. $5 a piece for these pops. I really wanted. I'm really happy with those. Okay, I have a little wall of pops I bought yesterday from a guy named Antonio. Let's go through the wall. We have Inspector Gadget, Al Bundy, really like that one. The Blue Fairy, really cool Ramona Flowers, which I didn't have yet. Happy to get that. Eddie Guerrero, Blue Fairy, T800, Metallic Deadpool, Azraphael. Scott Pilgrim, limited to 2,000 pieces. Really happy to get that one for my collection. Carly Chase I needed from Good Omens. Uh, the Merline, that one's really cool. The Kakashi Ambu AAA anime exclusive, I needed that one. Daryl Dixon, Popeye, a couple Purunga. Those are cool, those will sell pretty quickly. Uh, Sorcerer Mickey, Yoko Kurama, Scorpion that I needed, Sully, J Decay that I needed, Madara reanimation version. Uh, Endeavor, Amazon exclusive, Ben, I needed that one. 
didn't need those two as well. Uh, Harry Dune, another Inspector Gadget, Split Kit. Uh, and these I got from someone else. We got the Bronze Metal Freddy Funko, the Judo Freddy Funko, and the Pop Ranger, which I needed those three for my collection. All right, so that's a pretty fun wall of stuff. Let me see if I can find anything else I got this week. Okay, so I have a few boxes of pops I bought from Xavier, but I'm not going to go through all of them because it's a lot of stuff I've already shown you guys many times. But he did trade in a few Freddy Funkos. So Judo Freddy, which I have already. But we have the Teen Wolf Freddy, which I'm actually really happy to get because this is the first. I've purchased now like 30 of these. And they're all generic sports ones or art ones. This is my first licensed one. So I'm really happy to get that. And a couple of pins. I'm probably going to keep those as well. But everything else, I think in this box, I'm going to end up selling in the shop. You know, stuff like this. You don't need to see that again. I've shown it to you a billion times. All right, I decided to go through all the pops I got from Xavier and pull out the ones I'm keeping for my own collection because that'll be fun for me. So I want to share that with you. All right, let's take a look at them. All right, here's the wall of keepers. We have the Barnes & Noble exclusive Harry Potter. We have the Flocked Brown limited to 7,500 pieces. That's cool. We have... Uh, Miko with Flit Box Launch Exclusive. Really like that one. The Flocked Penguin from Billy Madison. Love that one. Billy Madison. The Red Storm Trooper. Jack Skellington Art Series. Pride Batman. Guy Diamond. That one's cool. It's a double pop. Love that. Uh, Diamond Winnie the Pooh. Really awesome. Ted Mosby from How I Met Your Mother. And Flock Clifford. And then the really awesome Disney World set. Love the castle. That thing is super cool. I really like all the building sets. These are some of my favorite things Funko makes. All right, awesome. I found another box of pops I bought this week that I'm gonna put in my collection. Some really awesome pops actually. So let's go through these. All right, first we got this 10 inch Cheshire Cat. This thing is really cool. It's a Walmart exclusive. That one's going into the collection. And then the rest of these I got from another Antonio. He ordered two sets thinking they would be all Funko Shop exclusive. So he's gonna trade them, but he didn't realize they're gonna be all just commons or ones that you could buy anywhere. So he asked me if I would take him off his hands for the price he paid. And I thought, you know what? I really like these pops. Sure, why not? So I think it ended up being, uh, I think these are like 20 each maybe. And then 12 or whatever the normal price on the commons are. Uh, but let's go through these. First of all, let's look at the Oogie Boogie art series. This is one of the first art series I actually like. Why? Because the paint on the body is not stretched out. So it doesn't look dip bath. At least not in the way that they've been doing them. So he looks much better. He looks more like the design on the box. Uh, it would have been cool if they made him glow in the dark. I don't think it's glow in the dark. But the fact that he's like kind of black light with a bunch of worms on him is straight from the movie. I love that one. That one is fantastic. Then we have the mayor. The mayor, ah, uh, I don't love that art series, but I don't hate it either. I think it looks kind of cool and it kind of fits his theme. Uh, then we have the pink oogie boogie with worms again it fits the scene where he's in black and white love that one or not black and white black light love that awesome uh sally again uh kind of fits your theme don't love that one as much but it doesn't look bad it doesn't look weirdly dip bath in a bad way so i'm happy with that and then the train series these are so cool oogie boogie and dice cart absolutely love that one let's take a closer look at all of these because these are awesome sally and cat cart that is gorgeous. Love that. I love Halloween themed stuff. One of my favorite times of the year. Just so many cool things. And then we have Zero in Duck Cart. All right, I love that. I think that one's awesome. And then we have the Mayor in Ghost Cart. That one is awesome as well. These are such nice pops. And then we have the Jack Skellington in Engine, which is awesome. If you just got it for him and not the full train, That'd be cool too, because he's pretty cool. And then we have the Jack Skellington snowmobile when he's stealing Christmas. Love that one. That one's amazing. Very happy with those. I contacted Target. They made it really easy. They're sending me a replacement. I don't have to return this damaged one. So happy about that. They made the process really easy. I contacted Hot Topic. They gave me the whole like cut and paste how pops are made to be transported in these boxes, the, you know, minor dings and whatever's normal. I said it was shipped to me in a bag without any kind of protection. It got crushed. And they're like, okay, we'll send you a replacement. So they too are sending me a replacement. So happy about that. All right, found another hot cash box. Let's dig into this one. All right, let's look at this hot cash box. Paper. Oh, wait a second. Did I order two Britneys? Oh, no, that one's damaged, too. All right, but it's not as bad as that other one that was crushed. Like, this one I probably won't complain about because it's just a little bit of damage. Not like the other one that was crushed to death. But 
that's cool. That's when I wanted. I guess I wanted it and I ordered it twice. All right, let's open up the first sorter box. We have... Uh, oh, we had the Wonder Woman from Justice League. She is cool. All right, really happy to get that for my collection. And one more sorter box. Let's see what we got. Uh, oh, I don't even know what this is. Okay, so we have Sekiro from Shikiro Shadows Die Twice. Must be a game. Yeah, it's pop games. Very cool looking pop though. I love the details on them. That's neat. I love buying game pops like this. I just don't know what the game is. Maybe it's an awesome game. Maybe it's not an awesome game. I don't know. But what I do know is the character design is really cool. And the pop is really cool. And uh, that might be the only one from the game. Not sure. But that's awesome. Happy to add it to my collection.